Today we're going to show you how to use Google Sheets um, to determine your spring constant for your mousetrap car. So you have your self-assessment and we had you um, select three different angles, 20, 40, and 60 degrees um, to displace your spring on your mousetrap. And we gave you the actual arc length of each one of those displacements. So what you did was took a force sensor and you actually determined the force at each one of those locations. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to actually use Google Sheets. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plot your x-axis, which for us is going to be distance in meters. And I would like to point out that I did convert this to meters already for you. And you're going to put on your y-axis your force in newtons. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select the data that you want to graph. And then you simply want to select Insert, Chart. So what we want is we want a scatter plot. So you'll notice there's two columns here. There's a data column and there's a customized column. We would like to select a scatter chart. And that's how we want to plot our data. So I'm simply going to select scatter chart. Now before you leave, there's a button down here you need to click. It says use column A as labels. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go ahead briefly and move this up so you can see everything here at once. So what you will notice now is that your force in newtons is on the bottom and your distance, or excuse me, strike that, your distance, your stretch is on the bottom and your force is on your y-axis. Okay, we need to make some customization here. So I'm going to click the customization tab and I'm going to go to chart and axis titles. <clears throat> now the first thing I definitely want to do is I want to put in a title. So we're going to call this map trap analysis. K. And I would like to center that because I want it all nice, neat, and tidy. <clears throat> so now if you look at the chart, we have our title, we have our x-axis, which is the stretch, and we have our y-axis, which is our force. <clears throat> the next thing we want to click on is, oh, excuse me, I almost got out of line there. Um, we definitely want to label our axes, so we're going to do the label, the horizontal axis first. And as I said, that is the distance in meters. And we would like to label the vertical axis, which is force in newtons. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so now we have our axes labeled. So then we go to the next thing we want to work with, which is called series. So I'm going to toggle series. Now, we absolutely positively want to select trend line. What this is going to do is the computer is going to give us a line of best fit drawn between our data points. That's important. We also would like to select select data labels. And this will actually give us our specific points on our data line. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down. Probably the most important thing, where it says label, Right now it's selected as none. I'm going to toggle and say use equation. The reason this is so important is if you will notice, it says mx plus b. The 55.9 is the slope of our line. And if you will recall, we gave you three angles in which to stretch the spring of your mousetrap car. You used a force sensor to identify the forces at each one of those angles. We had the computer draw a line of best fit, and so the slope of this line is our spring constant. This is what we're after. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. <clears throat> we're going to go back to our self-analysis page, and we're going to, oh, you're not supposed to see that. We're going to select directly under where it says insert graph here. I'm simply going to click, and I'm going to hit control. Whoops. Mr. Leffel did not copy. There we go. We are going to paste our graph. Now when you hit paste, either with Control V or with your mouse, it's going to give you one last thing to select. It's going to say paste chart and you have two options. Option 8 is to link to the spreadsheet. You can do this, but understand that if you delete that spreadsheet, if it was a one-time use and then you get rid of it, 
or if you make any changes inadvertently down the line, it's going to change your master document. So your best bet is to simply select Paste Unlinked. It pastes it as a permanent image, and so it will go unchanged. Now the last thing I want to remind you, the whole point of this exercise was to determine the spring constant of your mouse trap. Don't forget, phase one of this is to ensure that that value is placed there. So there you go. I hope that helps you. Um, it's a neat little trick and it's fairly straightforward.